tree. I'm not sure what he's going to give us tonight, but everybody give it up for my friend Jim Dennis. My name is Jim Dennis and I am great. I, uh, I, uh, I, all I've, I've got is just two things. That I've, uh, one, my angel story from uh, a long time ago. My bio, I didn't know, I wasn't sure what bio meant. And I thought she was taking DNA samples or something. And uh, so I just wrote, my name is Jim Dennis and I'm great. And uh, yeah, right? And so anyhow, I got two stories here. One, my past life back in California. Uh, I lived in the same, I'm going to give you my bio now. I lived in, uh, born in San Francisco, raised in San Jose, moved here nine years ago. My son dragged me up here, and I, I could honestly say Kalispell is no bullets and saved my life. And, uh, and you people, Montana people, are great too. They seem to, they seem to, um, they don't care what you did in the past, it's what you do today. That counts. That's right. And I love Montana people. So, with that said, Oh, I got my glasses. Thank God. I'm thinking, I can't see anything. I know you feel for all. This is scary. <laughs> and you know what? I'm not. I left the Bay Area scared. Not gonna be able to read it all. <laughs> I left the Bay Area scared, and uh, I'm not scared anymore. You know, the fear is gone. I'm at the top of the food chain, so watch out. Watch out, everybody. And uh, the first story I'm going to read you is my angel story. It's a good one. <laughs> Which is gone. Oh, God, it's gone. Oh, where is it? Oh, I gave it to the gal sitting next to me. I thought I had copies. I gave her the last copy. Oh, she read it. It was really good. That <laughs> <laughs> oh, did it. she leave? Well, you're going to have to come back next week because I got other ones. You know what the nice thing about, about coming here today is it's inspired me to clean up my house. <laughs> to find my other stories. I've got other ones too that are um, like the Sullivan story. Anybody knows his? I'm giving some shameless plugs for next week. I don't think I, we don't have to promote it. It doesn't look like. But, um, and um, the Sullivan uh, letter. Anybody knows history? Knows that that was a gentleman who wrote a letter to his wife just before he went into the Battle of Bull Run. And that was uh, just really moved. I mean, those guys knew how to write. And he was just a sergeant in the Union Army. That's what I can't believe. But, uh, Okay, so we'll move right along. I got one other one. Damn, I can't believe I did that. Oh well. And this is um, a friend of mine. My angel story is a real good one, so come back for that one. <laughs> but uh, a friend of mine gave me this when I was going through some pain in my life. And they say if you don't go through any pain in your life, you're not living life. So you know, I've lived a lot of life. And, uh, and that's okay because something positive always seems to come out of that pain. So anyhow, I don't know, she just came out of nowhere and said, oh, look what I got. And it's exactly, and I believe God works through people. And uh, it was exactly what I needed to hear at the time. Okay, here it is. Um, and some of you have probably heard of this before, but that's okay. People come into your life for a reason, a season, or a lifetime. When you figure out which it is, you know exactly what to do. When someone is in your life for a reason, it is usually... To meet a need you have expressed outwardly or in, inwardly. They have come to assist you through a difficulty, to provide you with guidance and support, to aid you physically, emotionally, or spiritually. They may seem like a godsend, and they are. They are there for the reason you need them to be. Then, without any wrongdoing on your part, or at, or at an inconvenient time, this person will say or do something to bring the relationship to an end. Sometimes they die, sometimes they walk away, Sometimes they act up or out and force you to take a stand. What we must realize is that our need has been met, our desire fulfilled, their work is done. The prayer you sent up has been answered and it's now time to move on. Next, when people come into your life for a season, it is because your turn has come to share, grow, or learn. They may bring you an experience of peace or make you laugh. They may teach you something you have never done. They usually give you an unbelievable amount of joy. Believe it, it is real but only for a season. Lifetime relationships teach you lifetime lessons, those things that you must build upon in order to have a solid emotional foundation. Your job is, is to accept the lesson, love the person, people anyway, and put what you have learned to use in all other relationships and areas of your life. It is said that love is flying, friendship is clairvoyant, I know why you are in my life, and I love you for that reason. That's it.
I'll be back next week.